the uh, landscaping store here next to the courtyard. It only goes to about right here today. But right through here, it's already planned. Much of the um, preliminary work for the development of that, uh, the extension of that street is already in place. And uh, so, again, we believe that it's a virtual guarantee that Wangle Drive would be extended at least right here uh, to the southern border of this 80-acre parcel. Again, nice wide road, curb and gutter, sidewalks, school zone, speed limits, proper signage, maybe even um, somebody will have to determine, probably the state will have to get involved in whether or not there would be a stop and go light here on Main Street at the intersection of Main and Wangle. And then the other street that I've mentioned a few times that I'll mention some more now is Huntington Park Drive. And if you, here's Huntington Park, comes off of uh, uh, Viking Drive, comes up through here, and it, there's a stop sign right here at the intersection of Huntington Park and Crestview, and you can see that it's uh, kind of stubbed a little bit beyond Crestview, to the east of Crestview. And if you stood there in that intersection, which Tom has done many times, um, you can see that the city has anticipated the, the potential for Huntington Park to be extended through the southern border of this 80-acre parcel. We would anticipate that with the placement of an elementary school on the uh, western side of this 80-acre parcel, that at least for now, Huntington Park would only go as far as Wangle Drive, and Wangle Drive would only go as far as Huntington Park. And it would be at the intersection of those two that we would have a drive, school district drive, into this parcel that would serve parking lot and uh, obviously those who are conducting their business for whatever reason at this new elementary school. Uh, we've had a couple of folks uh, mention bike trails and how wonderful it would be for the children who were living on this parcel and who were living in this neighborhood, these neighborhoods uh, on the east side of town to um, have the opportunity to safely travel uh, both by bicycle and foot and we welcome that. Um, we believe that this community, this, this uh, neighborhood would um, welcome and easily be served by uh, pedestrian and bicycle traffic. Uh, we believe that there are a number of children in fact who live in this area right here and a number of children who live in this area right here that would uh, welcome the opportunity to walk and or bicycle to this new elementary school. We believe, in fact, we don't have evidence, we haven't studied this, but it's likely that more children, because of uh, the nice quietness of these areas, these neighborhoods, more children are likely to walk or bicycle to this new school than what are currently walking and bicycling to Pineview Elementary School. We've had a couple people ask, hey, Tom, what's the hurry? Um, why this meeting so quickly? And frankly, we're, we're not necessarily in a hurry, but we want to stay on uh, a nice, steady track of making sure that uh, this project continues to move forward. The referendum that you approved was 10 weeks ago, and good work by a lot of good people has, again, brought us to this point. We're proud and excited to bring this piece of property to you for your consideration. We want to give this uh, project every reasonable opportunity to be complete in time for the start of the 2019-2020 school year, and we need to stay on a, a good steady pace to do that. We pursued one property that took us uh, a few days or maybe even a week or two and then we were informed that that property was not for sale. This is the second of our two um, highest priority properties that rose to the top of that initial analysis. <coughs> and if we lose this opportunity, we would take a significant step backward. We would lose, again, some precious time. We will settle on yet an unidentified, but certainly less desirable property. A couple of people have asked about the location of the bus maintenance facility. Part of our referendum was uh, 
to build a new bus maintenance facility and we certainly intend to build one of those. Today we honestly don't know if um, that facility would live on this parcel of land or not. Those decisions are yet to be made. Our focus has been on, prim at least primarily, on uh, the construction of this new elementary school, obviously the largest uh, project within that referendum effort. But again, if you've got question about or comment about or an opinion about where uh, a bus maintenance facility um, should live, we're welcome. You're welcome to share those thoughts with us as well. Okay, so those are Tom's uh, prepared comments for you, and uh, now I think would be an opportunity, Mr. Chairman, if you're okay, uh, to uh, entertain some questions. If they, I'm guessing somebody in the room has a question. Is there a time limit? Time? Board, time on this. Okay, please limit your comments and be direct. Uh, there is a microphone, and I think we're asking everybody to step up to that and ask their questions. So the first gentleman right here, state your name and your address too, please. For the record. <coughs> Thank you. 